All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. I have three TTMs for you and one private signing, two baseball returns and a football return. I'm gonna get started first with one of the baseball returns. And it comes from the great Billy Bean, the president of something or other with the Oakland Athletics, also known as True Garbage. Uh, bad for baseball, absolutely. Uh, where the Oakland Athletics end up is anybody's guess. Are they going to go to Vegas, Antarctica, Guam? Who, who knows where they go? But uh, the Oakland Athletics, I'm not going to go trash them too much. Uh, but Billy Bean has been talked about here on this YouTube format uh, several times over. Um, you know, if you don't know much about Billy Bean either, I suggest reading uh, Moneyball or watching Moneyball. That'll give you a, a backstory on him. Um, so there you go. That's Billy Bean. Very happy to get him back, though. Um, got him there on his rookie card. We're going to get to the next one, and it comes from Chris Bubich, one of the Royals pitchers. He is currently on the 60-day IL. Uh, hasn't pitched since the beginning of the year, so hopefully he comes back at some point this year. Uh, watched uh, Chris pitch in high A back in 2018, I believe it was, when he was with Wellington Blue Rocks. Uh, the Wilmington Blue Rocks in that uh, minor league shift have since become a Nationals farm farm team. Um, so, And I'm not sure where um, Kansas City's low A affiliate is now, but uh, very happy to get Chris Bubich back. Uh, as you can see, he signed that in very thin blue Sharpie. Uh, when I got it back, I opened the envelope and didn't. I didn't realize it was signed. It took me a couple looks to see whether he signed it or not but very happy to get Chris, Chris Bubich back we're going to get to the football return now and it comes from Jeff Lagerman, uh New York Jets uh, in the top 10 all time in sacks uh, the Jets were always one of those I guess want to say maybe a second tier team back in the early 90s uh, they always seemed to hover around that 500 mark um, maybe snuck into the playoffs if the Dolphins or the Bills somehow didn't get into the playoffs. Maybe, mostly the Dolphins, come on, the Bills were in four straight Super Bowls. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think it was mostly the, those Jets and Dolphins that were always fighting for that second spot in the AFC East back in those days. Um, Jeff Lagerman did only get to uh, Dan Marino one and a half times over each of their careers, but he did get to Jim Kelly, I believe it was, seven times. So, you know. Dan Marino's better than Jim Kelly and Dan Marino's best quarterback of all time there. As we all know, if you watch my YouTube channel that, uh, yeah, Dan Marino's the greatest of all time, bar none. Uh, we're going to get to the, in, or sorry, the private signing next. And it comes from my favorite bandit. It is a matchbox 20 signing a cardstock version of their album cover where the light goes. Uh, signing left to right is Kyle Cook, lead guitarist, Paul Doucette, rhythm guitarist, Rob Thomas, lead singer, and Brian Yale, the bass player. They have the 44th best-selling album of the 1990s. And the best-selling album of the 1990s, Whitney Houston and the Guardian soundtrack. I didn't know that until I looked it up, which was kind of interesting. Um, as we all know that... Uh, that song that Whitney Houston sang in that uh, in that movie, uh, and I will not do that here because I definitely cannot ever will ever hit the high notes or the notes that Whitney Houston does for that song. Uh, but still, she she does very well in that song. Um, Matchbox Twenty, I've seen them in concert uh, numerous times throughout the years. Uh, they've been a band for just about uh, I can't do my math twenty five plus years or so. Hopefully they'll go into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at some point. Um, they have they've had a very solid career since 1996, as you can see. So those are all my TTMs and private signings for you today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will be back on Monday. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye bye.